Hello friends. We've heard from some of you asking us about how we live our life or hmm, that's not quite the right way to say it. <sighs> how do you say it? Basically, what is it that I can't think of either. <laughs> what is that magical quality that you guys have that seems to make your life so magical feeling? <laughs> you know, we do feel like we've discovered something in our life that's really served us well to live joyfully. And this channel is all about sharing that. We, you know, as you know, we are not, we don't have tons of money. We don't have... We're not famous. Uh, yeah. But what we do have is we have a, a joy in our life where we are able to really appreciate almost basically every moment mm. that unfolds, except for a few moments where we lose that footing and stumble a little bit. But in general, whether the good things are happening or bad things are happening, we're able to embrace them. And we wanted to share a little bit more today about how we do that. In particular, kind of this one magical thing that we do. You have heard us talk about this before. We've probably talked about it in our online courses. And there's a real magic to it. It's called surrender. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, when I first heard about surrender, I thought that that meant giving up. I thought it meant defeat. I, and I mean giving up in such a sense that, fine, well then I don't care. And it isn't like that at all. Surrender takes you even deeper into something that's beyond your control and yet you become a part of it. Like a trust fall, kind of. Like a trust fall, yeah. There is, I, I mean, I think there are basically two ways to encounter life. And the one is to fight it. We talk about this in martial arts all the time. When there's incoming energy, we can push back against mm. it. And if you're bigger and stronger than the energy coming in, it's going to work. And that's basically what we're taught in our civilized world is to push back against things. And we always try to build ourselves up so that we can be stronger than the things coming in. Yeah. And in any way you look at it, there's always this effort. Yeah, there's a lot of effort in pushing. And for me, being the perfectionist <laughs> that I have been in my life, I really want to control. And I see that in a lot of people besides just myself. The desire to control, to make everything the way that I think it should be. Never realizing that perhaps the way I think it should be isn't exactly the best way to go about things. Isn't maybe actually what I really need and what I really want. And so... I've learned over time that that surrender gives me more than I could have organized on my own. Yeah. And we, honestly, we take it to woo-woo levels. And uh, <laughs> get our tinfoil caps on. <laughs> oh, they're a little antennas. <laughs> <clears throat> no. So I first discovered this in martial arts that um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu in particular, if you are pushing hard against that person that's stronger than you, then it just, it doesn't work. But by yielding, by surrendering, sometimes you can make a shift mm. that's going to turn the whole game around. And we discovered this with cold showering, our Wim Hof experiences, yeah. everything where we could do things that we thought we would not be capable of, not by fighting and getting stronger, tougher, more badass, but by surrendering into something and that delivers a strength unlike anything we could cultivate through willpower. The woo-woo side of it is that we've found that when we surrender into life, we were talking about this in a recent video, when we surrender into life, for instance, trying to get down to <coughs> Winona and find a way to make this whole quest for a home a reality, that when we just let go into whatever the world's going to bring, then things happen, things unfold that we could not have foreseen. It's as if the world can arrange things way better than our piddly little brains could ever figure out. Now, this is not to say that we don't 
take actionable steps towards mm-hmm. goals. We don't ignore signs that come into our life. A person who says, oh my gosh, my best friend grew up down there. She's got a 50 acre farm. You should give her a call. We don't say, well, I'm surrendering. So the world will just make it fall into my lap. <laughs> we say, oh my gosh, tell me more. Give me your number. We make the phone call. So surrender to me is not the same as defeat. Uh, and in fact, as you pointed out, surrendering gives you a certain vulnerability, which then gives you almost an invincibility in a weird way. When you yeah. surrender, there isn't the same fear. There isn't the same control. And there isn't the same brittleness. So in a way, you are yielding and you can't be broken in the same way. We hear about this in the old parable of the willow versus the oak. Uh, that willow can bend and flow and withstand the storm in a way that the powerful oak sometimes can't. Now, to bring this into your life, this sense of surrender, how do you do this? Because it goes so strongly against basically everything we've been taught, which is to fight against life. And I think the concept of life as a big RPG has helped us a lot. Oh, yeah. RPG, which is a role-playing game. And if you don't take your life super seriously, then a lot of times you'll find that life becomes lighthearted in a response to your own lighter heart, don't you think? I think so. And people might not know. I think I talked about it in my Kenton origin story <laughs> video. But you and I have been pen and paper RPGers, role, play, role players, for basically our whole life together. Mm-hmm. And so it's been an important part of our life in expressing imagination and having uh, another world, essentially, that we can go to, to learn things and explore different parts of our personality. It's been of tremendous benefit to us. And it's also taught us that if we can look at this life Mm -hmm. as a giant RPG, it takes so much seriousness out of it. Now, that doesn't mean that things haven't happened. I mean... You lost your father mm-hmm. not long ago. We've had, you know, I had, yeah, I just lost my grandparents. We've it doesn't had mean people stop dying. It doesn't mean you're never going to get sick. It isn't actually an invincibility potion, but it's an interesting way to encounter the world. And it allows you to recreate yourself, your character. If you're in a role-playing game, you can decide one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be the happy person. Maybe you are grumpy always in the morning. You say, I'm going to try on this character this morning and see what this feels like. And it allows you to role play perspectives and decide, gosh, that's really on the border of what I think I believe in. But today I'm going to be in this role playing game and I'm going to try out that perspective and I'm going to see what it's like. (laughs) It's experimental and curious. Yeah. Role playing or imagining yourself in a game, it invokes that surrender because when, I mean, the truth is, we cannot avoid dying. We cannot avoid... <laughs> Let me know if you figure that out, somebody out there. <laughs> all, the, all the negative things in life may or may not come into our lives. Fighting and resisting them. We have so much different relationship <clears throat> with them when you surrender, when you're role-playing, and you can say, okay, this is coming in, and instead of taking the usual response, this is what our culture says you should do, this is how you should fight it, this is... You go back, you take a big deep breath, you kind of hold out this open space in front of you, and then you say, okay, what are all the different ways that I could respond? And sometimes you get to think outside the box, especially if you're trying the world as a role-playing game. You might try something very different. And that's how great creative brand new ideas and solutions are discovered because somebody didn't just go, oh, well, let's see here. Current civilization says I better do this in this amount of time. They go, no, stop think about it differently yeah that's in a game when the adversity comes in it's not a horrible thing it's part of the game it's part of the challenge Mm -hmm. it brings you to a new place where you can meet that challenge self-evolve and level up and level up (laughs) (laughs) i think it's really important to have gratitude so it's important to have that role-playing mindset so that you don't take things super seriously And it's important to have gratitude, to express that and to get really into gratitude on a very daily basis, multiple times a day, because that also lifts you up. And so you can surrender more deeply into experiences that you might have just brushed by before. Some of my 
sweetest memories in my life are in times of grief, are in times when mm. it was really difficult. And what came out of that was a beautiful connection and beautiful understanding of things I never, never could have imagined. And now I have really deep relationships with friends, with family because of that difficulty. Mm. And there are gifts in letting go, being vulnerable, trying things differently. So when we say being lighthearted, that doesn't mean, oh, pa ha ha. It means really being there and letting your heart be open so that you can receive, you can have a flow. And the ironic thing is when we approach life this way, when we do encounter negativity or problems, we find that we have so much more of that creativity you were talking about, so much more energy, so much of a higher ability to look at those things and to meet them creatively. There's a lot of energy that sometimes just goes into the, the act of fighting. I look out at the world and I say, oh, this is terrible and I just can get down about it and this and this. What if instead I took some action, yeah. some creative action, and stepping back from our own lives a little bit, mm -hmm. getting into that RPG mindset and having that gratitude mm -hmm. for the things that are positive in our lives, because all of us can find something positive, even if it's just that I can take this next breath, soaking into those, and we'll find that our, our way of approaching life truly transforms. And I think that is kind of one of the at least large elements of our secret, if you yeah. will, to being so joyous in life, despite not having a lot of the things that our culture mm -hmm. tells us are necessary in order to have happiness. Yeah, that's our secret. I just told it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll keep, we'll keep at it and with it and come at it from different yeah, well, angles it, in our I videos. Mean, we but... are always refining and always talking. I mean, this, there's so many different elements. Just being able to be vulnerable and to surrender can also allow you into somebody else's perspective. If you're role playing, then you can start to think, oh, what must they be feeling? Mm -hmm. And then that gives you a whole different angle. So there's so much in this one little gem of just letting go, being vulnerable, breathing, <laughs> being grateful, and trying out different perspectives. All right, my friends, share in the comments anything you've experienced about this surrender. Mm. If you've experienced this before and what changes it has made in your life. And if you want, what's your secret? Yeah, I what's want more secret? secrets to the <laughs> happiness in life, life's happiness, yeah. Yeah, if you're finding a way, despite all the negatives of the world and despite the negatives that might be in your life, to find peace or harmony or balance. Satisfaction, true satisfaction, satisfaction is right where you are. Yeah. Satisfied mind. Yeah. Remember, oh Aww. my gosh, those guys playing. Yeah, see, that's going to make me teary. Oh. Some good memories. If you go, well out there to you all. <laughs> you go back to our, that was the bow making video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The bow making with was, Dave Dill. It was oh, set we love you guys. to the music of two wonderful, wonderful musicians. And that's what we're talking about, the satisfied mind. Yeah. All right. <laughs> love you all. And can't wait to talk with you in the comments. Bye.